You're probably a hard worker, maybe a little bit of a Makita fanboy or girl. Well, it's a good thing you stopped by this video because today I am going to show you the top 10 Makita tools that you probably never knew existed. After this video, you can go back to your work site, tell all of your friends about all the Makita tools that they probably never heard about, and then laugh at them because you'll be superior to them in every single way. So sit back, relax, get subscribed, hit that bell notification, and let's get the top 10 Makita tools that you probably don't know about started. Number 10. The Makita Distance Laser Measurer. Makita actually makes two different models. The one pictured here is 164 feet, where the other goes over 200. Has a digital screen, has up to seven different measurement functions, which include distance, area, volume, permanent, min, max, add, subtract, along with a few others. It's dust and water resistant. It takes two AAA batteries and will give you up to 5,000 measurements before the batteries die. It'll also record up to five measurements. And you get this cool little carrying case. For this unit, you're looking at $96. Link in the description below for you to check this thing out. Number nine. Want to enjoy some scenery while getting some exercise at the exact same time? Ah, uh, yeah, no, neither do I. I'm fine going downhills, but going uphills on a bicycle, I teeter out. But the Makita solved that problem with, yeah, a bicycle that ran on batteries. Though they were talked about a lot when they first came out, they sort of lost traction after the first year. Even though it was a foldable bicycle? To me, it looked more like it was part of a horrible road rage accident. That said, you could go over 5 miles with a fully charged 3.0 battery. But basically, it was just five levels of adjustable motor-assisted pedaling power. And on top of that, you didn't look very cool riding it. If you're a collector, you can still find one here or there on eBay, but major sites just don't sell them anymore. Number eight. Yeah, back in the day, I worked in the steel mill, and the one thing that really got to me was the heat. Not only that, all the chemicals I used to inhale down my lungs. But the one thing that was extremely brutal was the heat in the summertime. I get hot, sweaty, dehydrated, and it was tough. Even working out on the job sites, it can get brutal. The only thing more brutal would be upsetting the Makita gnome, which we do quite often here on this channel. That said, Makita did come up with a half decent solution to keeping your head cool. If you wear a hard hat, well, you could attach this fan to the back of it. Yep, it ran off of a battery. You attach it to the hard hat and the fan would keep your head cool. However, to me, it probably would have been easier just to put a fan next to you instead of strapping this concoction to the side of your helmet. And besides, who the hell wants to carry that thing around with you? It looks like this okay design turned into a major flop and that's why you can't buy them anywhere. Number seven. Yep, this item sort of plays off of the last one we just talked about. This is the Makita cooling jacket. This is actually to be used in the summertime or where it's really hot outside. The only problem is you sort of look like Frosty the Snowman 24-7. And I'm not really sure this is a great idea. How long would that actually last? I doubt very long. Not to mention it sort of seems cumbersome in those tight spaces. That said, I have heard that they do a pretty decent job keeping you cool in those hotter conditions because it keeps the sweat off of you. And you'll look really cool like this guy. They can still be purchased, and I'll put a link in the description below for you to check it out. Number six. Okay, so this one I thought was pretty cool. This is the Makita WUT02U Auto Start Wireless Universal Adapter. Price you're looking at 201, they do still sell these on Amazon. However, the ratings don't seem to be all that great. But what I like about this is that you can actually connect this with Bluetooth to your vacuum system. It basically works in conjunction with your saws, your grinders, and your vacuums. You simply plug it in. As soon as you pull the start button on one of your tools, the vacuum will automatically kick on. When you're done using that tool, release the trigger and it will automatically shut the vacuum off. I think this is really neat. It definitely seems like it would reduce the hassle of walking back and forth to your vacuum to turn it on or off. And you wouldn't have to run your vacuum constantly because it would shut down automatically. I like this, so I'm going to give it the real nice lag. Number five. We've all seen robot vacuums before, but this one here from Makita seems to be a little bit more industrial than the others. Takes two Makita LXT batteries, has the brushless motors, and it looks really cool. The one issue I find with this though is it does seem to be a little pricey. You're looking at $1,400 for the batteries and the charger, or you're looking at $1,200 for the bare tool. That said, you do get 200 minutes of continuous operation on hard floors, 
And it's also very cool because it works as a vacuum and you have the side brushes to get into corners, which I think they did a very good job on. So basically 5,380 square feet per cleaning. It'll also catch up to 99% of the dust particulates it pulls up and it will hold up to 5 eighths of a gallon. All in all, I wouldn't buy this for your home, but if you have a factory, a store, or a shop, this might be the perfect addition. Not only because of the heavier duty build, but it will clean a path of 18 inches. Number four. This is probably one of my favorites on the list, the Makita Wheelbarrow. Gives you 45 minutes of runtime under load using an 18 volt LXT 5AH battery. It will also take two batteries, so if you wanna double that runtime, well, cool. However, check out the size of those tires. Going on rough terrain, I don't think you're going to have an issue. You can carry up to 275 pounds, plus the speed on this is 2.5 miles per hour on a 12 degree incline. You will also get two LED lights up front to help illuminate the worksite. The rear wheels will adjust from 19 inches to 30 inches, and it seems to be made very well. Everything is electronic, you have brakes on the wheel, so you don't have to worry about going too fast or too slow. Not only is it super cool looking, it'll help get those heavy, hard jobs done a lot easier. Number three. Workday got you down, a little tired, need some coffee. Be a real shame falling asleep and having that boss walk in. Well, Makita tried to solve this problem with their portable Makita coffee maker. This was a hot ticket item back in the day. Everybody was talking about this. Nowadays, well, not so much. You can still find them on sale on Amazon, but major retailers such as Home Depot and Acme Tools, well, it's hard to find. The reviews just weren't very great for this coffee maker, which sort of put the nail in the coffin for it. And even though some people absolutely swear by it and love it, many others just felt that a regular coffee maker was just fine for them. Now, if they could only come up with a Mountain Dew dispenser. Love it or hate it, I thought it was a pretty cool idea and how people get their day started with a fresh cup of joe. Leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think. Number two, we love our phone. Whether it's for work or personal use, we have to have it. But when our battery runs dead, well, people get a little bit angry. Well, this is why I think this tool is awesome. I actually have one of these. This is the Makita USB charger. It attaches to Makita battery all you have to do is plug it in using the USB cord and it will charge your electronics now It's not the fastest charger out there, but it does do a pretty good job You have a port on the left and on the right Again, it attaches right to the top of the battery You can charge your phones your electronics your radios your tablets and your laptops for only $19 It's one heck of a buy and I strongly recommend it Number one you like to clean well I don't, but guess what? This person does, and maybe you do as well. But instead of going out and buying one of those cheaper Hoovers, well, you can get something a little bit more industrial strength. Yep, somebody's got to do it, and why not use the all-new Makita vacuum? That's right, the all-new Makita cordless vacuum cleaner. Runs off of a Makita battery. Absolutely no cords to hold you down. Use the HEPA filter, and it is upright. Also gives you a 12-inch cleaning path. Got two LED lights right up in the front for illumination. You got non-marring bumpers on here and a side brush to help you get into those tight areas. You also get a few attachments that will attach right to this vacuum. Even though this thing looks a little bit outdated, it does supposedly do a great job on hard floors and carpeting. And the noise level is only 57 dB. And it has a lower profile to get underneath those desks. Now I have not personally used this, but it looks pretty cool. It takes two batteries. If you use a 6AH battery, you can get 60 minutes of runtime. You also get the battery indicator light for both batteries and a high, medium, and low speed adjustment. It does take a bag, not a canister, but that should help keep the dust down. All in all, I have not used this vacuum yet, but it looks pretty cool. But there you go all, those are the 10 Makita tools you probably never knew even existed. I want to know what you think. Have you seen every single one of these tools? Come on, be honest. I bet you there was one on the list that you never knew Makita made. Leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know which one you found really cool. Now, if you could smash that like button, that would be greatly appreciated. Get subscribed and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any more videos coming your way. I always appreciate you stopping by and with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.